Right out. <laughs> um, losing Kevin uh, in the third quarter, and then uh, coming through the wages in the fourth quarter, must say an awful lot about the character of this group you put together here. Yeah, it, it does. It was, it was scary. You know, when you see a guy go down, regardless of whoever team it is, you just don't like to see people get hit like that. And, you know, my heart skipped a beat when I saw him on the floor. And, you know, they're saying, come out of here. And then when you get there, you see blood pouring out of his ear. You go, geez, this is not pleasant. So not only is it um, a loss for our team, but it's, a, it's when one of your brothers goes down, the game almost say, well, this is, there's bigger things to worry about than a game of basketball. So you get to that point where you're fearful of his health. So fortunately, you know, the, I thought it was coming out of his ear, but he actually had a big gash here. So he's had four stitches in his ear. So it's not as, I guess in some respects, it's not as bad as we thought because it, it, you know, he passed the concussion test. It, it just shook him up. And, but when I saw him, I just saw blood coming out of your ear and that was frightening. So uh, it's, it's good news in that respect. And uh, like I said, perhaps an incident like that puts the game of basketball in perspective and say, hey, let's just go out here, compete, have some fun. And uh, I think we got some good performances. Greg was outstanding throughout Newell's and Jason stepped up big on the offensive end uh, when we needed him and he, you know, hit some big, big shots. And Tommy Garlop, who's, you know, still figuring out his role. It's a big change for what he did last year. But then in that last quarter, uh, throw him in there when the game's on the line, you know, five huge, big three, big play around the basket, give us that little bit of breathing space. And we're good enough at the defensive end to hang on. So the most pleasing thing is in that third quarter, we couldn't stop them. They were scoring at will, and our defense, although we, we were working hard, we couldn't stop them. But when, the, when it counted, we were able to come up defensively and get stops, and uh, that was the most pleasing part about the game. Jase, offensively, it just seemed like the team took another step tonight, particularly in understanding you know, what Drew was trying to implement. Did you feel that as far as the ball movement was pretty good, you guys were getting to your right spots and you were finding open guys? And did, did you feel like that out there? Yeah, 100%, but I think uh, it all started because of our defence. I don't know what we held them to, but our defence was good and it got us running. And I think once we get in a, a bit of a flow as a group, I think our offence then clicks. So for us, it's going to be on the defensive end that really gets our offence going. But yeah, definitely the ball was moving. We just got, we knew what we had, we had, where we had to get the ball and we got it to those spots and, and some of us hit some shots, which is nice to play. And you personally, you know, you've, you've taken, I think everyone would say, an enormous step up, both in the preseason and Yeah, it's good. Look, um, I had a good off season. It was just good for me to hang out in Sydney and be around with my family and friends and do my own thing for once. So I felt good coming into the season. I feel another year older, which I am. But I feel like I've matured a bit. And the last two years, I learned a lot. Being back in Sydney was a different world and we had some tough years. But with the changes that have come in and with our coaching staff and Drew that's come in, I've really found a good little spot in the team. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with how it's going and hopefully we continue to build. Yeah, really good crowd and, and unbelievable support. They're very passionate and uh, it's a beautiful venue to play in. You know, it's world class. You, you get a real international NBA vibe about, about the way the game's being played. I, I think that they, it's hard because you're so focused on the game, but you, I think they've got a good balance between that entertainment, music blaring and that and the game. So they've got all that stuff going on, but it's not distracting from the game. And, uh, and that's great. And, and I think that, Tonight, uh, tonight was more relief for the fans because they've had a couple of tough years and a lot of these people have stuck with the Kings for a long period of time and you know, they, they want to see as many wins as possible. We had a great win, win on the road, um, but for them to come to a game, to enjoy the excitement, to, to be involved in the contest and, and really help us get over the line. You know, that, that home support down the stretch, it, it's... it's genuinely has an impact on the game. It has an impact on the fellas. It helps their momentum. It helps their confidence. And I think it's, it's, it's tough for the opposition if we can create that environment. So, you know, we want as many fans to come out and, and, and join us to, to help us achieve our goals because we know that that's important. With the competition being so evenly balanced, your home court becomes even more significant than when you've got sort of a bit of a margin over some teams. So every single contest, wherever you go, is going to be tough. 
And if you can win the bulk of your games at home uh, and you pick up your fair share on the road, you become a playoff team. But if you don't do either of those, you're in that mix where you're in the middle and you're in the lap of the gods. So we need to make sure that we defend our court and the fans are very much a part of that. It's going to be really tough. They're, they're a great team. I watched their game last night. Uh, you know, they, they could have easily beaten the defending champions. Uh, they were right there. They beat a very, very good Melbourne United team. Uh, they've got incredible talent. They were in the finals last year. It's, it's tough. It's going to be really tough. But you say that about every single team. This one's a little bit tough because of the travel. Um, but it's... You know, we, we only have to go there twice. They're coming all over Australia more than what we do, so we can't complain about that. But, um, you know, they're, they're a really good team and, and how we defend and rebound are our priorities. You know, we, we, we had our rebounding problems and we said to the boys, our target is 40. So we gave a tangible, something very objective for them to, to aim for. So we had 43 or something against Illawarra. We had 40 tonight. We won, won the rebound count both games and... Coincidentally, we won the game. So it's, it's, I don't think it is a coincidence. I think there is a, some relevance to that. And Josh is going to help when he gets more familiar with our stuff. But I tell you what, Alex Marich down the stretch was huge. Not with the point, the deflections, the intimidation, the defensive end, what he did was very, very important for us. Uh, so the combination of those two, we get Julian back in, we feel like we've got a group that can, can compete. Um, compete with the better teams in the competition, with, with every team in the competition, because they're all good. Jason, you hit a really big three at the end of the third, but as it turns out, you're only just pain warming up. Just take us, what, what was your mind set through the door, and also just when you, when it, you hit that last one at the end, it was clear that you know, it was over? Um, I guess when you see Kevin Lish go down, and we've become a bit of a back backcourt partnership, and we kind of try and roll off each other, and we're still finding our groove as a, as a partnership, but. When you see him go down and you look around, and I think Cope said to me, "You got to, it's, it's on you." And I took that upon myself to try and get people going. Not just myself. I'd happen to hit some shots, but um, I just took that role as right. I got to get us going here, and I hit that shot, and that was nice to go into the fourth quarter with, obviously. But I think I got open a couple of times off good screens from Truck and a few others. So for me, I just I took it upon myself to really just be aggressive, and it, it worked out for me tonight. Yeah, yeah he, he got a little agitated. I didn't see what happened, so I just asked him what happened. And he said, oh, you know, that he's getting him some elbows throughout the game. The foul was called, and then there might have been something said, so he said he pushed him. And I said, well, please don't do that again. <laughs> uh, uh, so, you know, heat of the moment stuff, it, it's just one of those things that he got into a little bit of argy-bargy in the Illawarra game too. We just got to make sure that he comes to terms with the way the style of play here, what he has to deal with. There's a big target on him because he's, his history and what he's done in the past, his reputation, and you know, this guy's going to be other opposition see that, and they're going to probably play on trying to get a little bit of niggle and and and, and suck him into something where he shouldn't be involved. But uh, you know, he's going to defend himself, and from what I've seen, he'd be very, very good at defending himself. <laughs> so uh, we just got to make sure that he doesn't get baited, and and uh, we don't want those incidents. He knows that. Uh, he's a pro, he understands that that just hurts the team. Uh, there's a time and a place for everything and he's got to just try and uh, contain his emotions in those, sort of, in those circumstances. I think he's intimidating. I'm, I'm intimidated by him sometimes when he's out there. I, I, he's, he's got a, pre, a presence about him, he's big, he's powerful, but he communicates well, he loves the team, he, he's only been here a couple of days, he's had one training session, one practice session the whole time he's been here. So you can tell with that he, he picks stuff up quite well, uh, he's only going to get better, he's got good touch, he's a pro.
he looks after his body, he eats the right things, he, he works hard, he is a genuine pro. So he's not necessarily all that vocal just yet. Um, he's starting to get there. But he's starting to sort of warm to us a little bit. He, he has fun with us and I think that he's going to be an important piece of, of what we do going forward. Yeah, 100%. Um, I said last week playing in this arena was a thing I, I imagined as a kid. I floor wiped here multiple times with the Razorbacks and I always wished I played here. So to, I guess, get on a bit of a roll in the last quarter and feel like I led the group to a, to a win and uh, I was excited. And so having the crowd there like that and being as vocal as they were, you've got to give the crowd back what they want. So hopefully they come back for the rest of the season and we can really get this thing rolling and have this place pumping. And, and you know, the thing is too, we're happy and we're emotional and excited because we beat a very, very good team. That team is going to win a lot of games this season. They're well coached. They run their system really well. They get the best out of their guys. So it's not like this was a gimme. Uh, there are no gimmies. They, they are a very, very good team. Thanks, guys. Good job, fellas.